OK, so let's say I want to solve cosec squared x equals 3 cot x plus 5 between 0 and 2 pi radians. Now, I need to use the trigonometric identity to get this into a quadratic that just involves cot. So starting off with sine squared plus cos squared is 1, I'm looking for a replacement for cosec squared. So I'm going to need to divide through by sine squared to give me 1 plus cot squared is cosec squared. So cosec squared can be replaced with 1 plus cot squared x. So if I rearrange this to get everything onto the left hand side, this is cot squared x minus 3 cot x uh, minus 4 is 0. This can be factorised to get cot x minus 4 times cot x plus 1. Okay, so either cot x is equal to 4 or cot x is equal to minus 1. Now, cot is 1 over tan. So 1 over tan equals 4, so tan equals a quarter. And here, if 1 over tan is equal to minus 1, then tan must be equal to minus 1. So these are the two equations that I actually want to solve. So I'm going to sketch tan between 0 and 2 pi. Tan x equals a quarter. I'm looking for two solutions there and there. So inverse tan of a quarter is 0 0.245 to 3 sig fig. The second solution is found by adding on pi, which is 3.39 to 3 sig fig. For tan x equals minus 1, I'm expecting two solutions. Inverse tan of minus 1 is minus pi over 4. That's not a solution, however. These two were. That's not, because it's not between 0 and 2 pi. So by adding on pi, I get to 3 pi over 4. That's that one there. And then the second one is by adding on another pi, which gets me to 7 pi over 4. So these are the four solutions to the original problem. So in order of size, I've got 0 0.245, then uh, 3 pi over 4. Then I've got 3.39 to 3 sig fig and 7 pi over 4. Okay, and there are the four solutions.